Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect a ChatGPT plugin to SuperAgent and run that plugin with your agent basically. So there are a couple of things that we should talk about before configuration. So the first thing is that all ChatGPT plugins have a so-called manifest file. And that's basically a JSON file which describes to ChatGPT what the plugin is all about, what it does, and its API spec, basically. Uh, and there are different repositories where you could find these manifests for the different plugins, and they usually basically look like this. So it's a kind of JSON file with a bunch of text on how this plugin works, basically. So this uh, URL is to this file is something we will need in order to um, in order to run this plugin, basically on SuperAgent. So what you want to do is that you want to copy this URL to this file and you want to go to your tools section in SuperAgent and create a new tool. We can, uh, there's a, an, an option for ChatGPT plugin. We'll use that and we'll just enter the URL to the manifest file here. In our case, we are using listen notes. So we will just call it listen notes and it's useful for answering questions about podcasts because it's a podcast directory, right? And we go ahead and create that. And then we go to agents and create an agent. Uh, I have already done so here. I call this the tool agent just to uh, make things a bit faster. And so some important things, the model you're using needs to have the 0613 uh, in, in its name, otherwise it won't work. And these models are used to run OpenAI functions. This is specifically for running an OpenAI agent in SuperAgent. So be sure to use the GPT-4 version or the GPT-3.5 Turbo version. So what we need to do here is that, uh, just take that. We need to add a tool to this agent. So we have created a listen notes tool. We add it and then we can query it. So how many episodes does the Lex free um, podcast have? So this will run the query using the Listen Notes Chat GPT plugin. There we go. Lex Friedman podcast has 200 episodes. So that's basically how you set up Chat GPT plugins. One additional thing to note is that since we are running the, the invocation with the help of Langchain, they don't yet support chat gpt plugins that are behind authentication so it needs to be a public chat gpt plugin and also some of the plugin providers actually block block you from using their manifest file in other apps outside of chat gpt uh, an example of that would be instacart so so you need to be wary about what you use and how you use it but this is the basic setup thank you very much have a nice day